Use headers and subheaders to further organize your forms and your clinical notes. You'll notice header and subheader here on the right hand side. Maybe we want to include a section here for the subjective documentation. The header will be bolded in a slightly larger font size, while the subheader will be a slightly smaller font size and also bolded. If you simply want the header to appear on your screen as you're completing the clinical note, then you do not need to worry about including anything in the generated text box. But we do want this subjective header to actually appear on the clinical note itself. So let's go ahead and copy and paste it down below and highlight and select the header formatting. This will automatically add some space above and below the header, so you do not need to include any spacing. We can also add a subheader here. Again, I'm going to copy and paste, select the text, and click subheader to apply the subheader formatting. Now in the clinical note, you can see both the header and subheader. And in the complete note, you can see the slight difference in the font size here. 